two words, Verka, a moniker reserved for kids with a certain prestige behind them, a name synonymous with pushing the boundaries of master grades, and sometimes the prices of Gundam plastic model kits. The man who puts literal wings on the Wing Gundam Zero, and the man that puts the expectations of crazy details, a conceptual instruction manual, and water slide decals in a box. The man you put your hope in to bring you Master Great Gundam G Self. Seriously, we're still waiting, but never does. So you hope for the next best thing, which is redesigning a 1.0 kit into a brand new kit with a version Ka Toki Hajime flair. But what if I told you some kits are a Verka even without the stamp next to the Master Grade logo? Wow. Salutations fellow hobbyists and welcome to the Toyama 23 Hobby Channel. After building my high new Gundam Verka, I realized there are some Master Grades out there that are version Katoki despite not having the Verka packaging. So I decided why not make a fun video to fuel the fandom. And yes, these are totally my opinion, not gospel. And also, not all credit should go to Katoki because others were involved in it too. With that said, here are five off the top of my head kits that I consider to be Verka. Number five. Master Grade Unicorn, any Master Grade Unicorn. In case you don't know, the very first Master Grade Unicorn was a version Katoki, released in 2007. And somewhere along the line, they released the OVA version and plus MS Cage, which is the Verka with a slightly modified leg armor to allow more articulation, more articulation to the waist, a fixed open v fin, blue beam saber for some reason, and head armor has added Vulcans because it was in the anime for anime accuracy. But why blue beam sabers? Eludes me. Because they all stem from the Unicorn Verka in my eye. This is a Verka, this, 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 and this. They are all Verkas to me. And if you're looking for the original Unicorn Verka, don't bother. It's been discontinued, but revived as the Master Grade Expansive Verka. <sighs> Number 4. Strike Freedom Gundam. Perfect Grade. What? I didn't say anything about only Master Grades. So, it's a Verka because of the silhouette. Hear me out. When the Strike Freedom was designed, they have not gotten into the sleeker design philosophy yet. Just look at the original line art. Then when they made the Master Grade, they incorporated that philosophy of long legs, small head, big chest, skyward pointing shoulders, which is Katoki's approach to his designs. And yes, they got Mr. Verka himself involved in this project. Just look at the manual. Looks like a Verka manual to me. Side note, he made the wings extra spiky. Gee, I'm starting to think the new Master Great EX Strike Freedom is a Verka too. Nah, I don't think so. What do you think? Drop a comment below. Number 3. Any wing Master Great with the endless walled stem on the box. Because Katoki Hajime redesigned the main suits. Let me repeat that. Any wing master grade that has the endless walled stamp. So this does not count. These kits are well made. They don't have the Verka box art or water slide. But some have marking stickers by Katoki Hajime. Apply them and voila Verka. They are great kits personally. I like the Wing Proto Zero. I must warn you, the Wing Gundam EW version, this one, is a re-release of the second Verka ever made. Just a different box art. 
slight color change so it feels dated assembly wise compared to other EW kits not the same quality but it matches the rest of the EW kits you know looks wise I just dislike that they made a few of them P Bandai it's expensive to get the complete boy band but on a positive note all of them are easy to assemble and are beginner friendly speaking of beginner friendly TubeBuddy is too it's what I use in the beginning of the channel to optimize my video I still use them down to this day check my affiliate link below after the video also the wing zero master grade was on this list of mine until they release this number two high grade dendrobium this is the only high grade that i consider to be a verka yes it's older but still a goodie and on many hobbyist holy grail list this thing's big and long I'm glad there is no master grade of this thing. A master grade super deform wouldn't hurt though. So it's a Verka because Katoki himself designed the dendrobium. And this thing is ridiculous. And that's the Katoki factor. Ridiculousness. If that's a word. When this came out, it pushed the envelope for model kits. And the price for a high grade. Feels like a very Verka thing to do. I know technically the Master Grade GP03 Stamen should be a hidden Verka in my books, but I can't recommend getting it. And that kit needs a 2.0 or an official Verka release. Please give that to us, Bandai. There are a lot of Stardust Memory fans waiting. Number 1 turn a Gundam just look at the box art looks like a Verka box art but with some happy clouds I know the turn a is way out there in its design but it sure is iconic thanks to Sid Mead this is a very special master grade nonetheless the 100th master grade released by Bandai because of that they made it special by getting Mr. Katoki involved, like the PG Strike Freedom. Look at the manual, and you get Katoki vibes. What's missing? The water slide decals. I mean, come on, we don't get water slide decals for some reason, and we want water slide decals for the cow, man. Apart from that, we can see the long legs, small head, small chest philosophy in this design. I'm glad Bandai recently reprinted this kit as I highly recommend this kit even if you're not interested. Do you agree with my opinion? It's fine if you don't, but do let me know your thoughts in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. If you're new, that subscribe button will be a huge help. These are only five. I actually can think of more Verka kits and if you have some kits that are a hidden Verka or should have had a Verka stamp drop a comment and who knows I might make a follow-up video with that thanks for watching fellow hobbyists keep things awesome keep the hobby going and keep the hobbyist alive I am Toyoma23 signing out